She actually, thankfully, was unharmed. Uh, aside from some mosquito bites, she is safe. Hard to believe that could be the case for anyone lost for multiple days here in the wilderness. But around 9.30 Thursday night, 16-year-old Esther Wang walked out of the same trail she disappeared from 54 hours earlier. She was assessed by BC Ambulance at the scene and released to her family that same evening. On Tuesday afternoon, Wang and three others in a youth hiking group were on the East Canyon Trail at Golden Ears Park when she became separated from the group. She had food and water, but there was virtually no cell service. 16 search agencies from across the south coast launched an extensive search with helicopter and drone support. At some points, there's over 50 volunteers in, in the field searching this area. If you leave the trails, you end up in some pretty thick, dense brush. Looking for anyone in these conditions would be extremely challenging, whether that's from the air or the ground. It's very steep and uh, it's very thick forestation, which did obviously hamper the search efforts. Searchers haven't spoken to Wang yet, so they aren't sure how she managed to get out. They say she might have been found sooner if she stayed put but she did most things right. If she'd remained where, where she was, the group did return to, to that area. She did, it appears, stop and we liked, and then think, orientated herself and planned accordingly. And it did take quite a while to get out, but she is out and she's safe and well. Wang and her family are now asking for privacy, but there are still unanswered questions, like how she became separated from her hiking group. We'll be looking into all the facts and speaking to all the parties that were a part of the hike, but also Esther herself. Meanwhile, dozens of volunteer search crews are breathing a sigh of relief. Which again is the best outcome we, we could hope for. Travis Prasad, Global News.